next part I'm going to tackle is I'm going to take the back wheel off and uh, get into the brake there, take the hub off and uh, I'll show you as I go what I'm doing and how I'm going to do it I suppose and the other thing I've got to do is pull apart my right hand applause disc and so forth and take that apart so I can um, and put that on there. Okay. I'll try to do this in little steps as I go. So, this step jacked up and wheel off. Okay, front brake hub off. Um, there's the hub there. Sorry, not front brake. Rear brake hub off. I've undone the the um, handbrake cable that comes through here to here. I don't know if you can see that. It comes through here to here. It's around here. And I'll take this whole thing off and hopefully be able to do some measurements and so forth with the uh, applause one. Right, brakes off. Um, so there it is there. But I thought I'd just show, just for those who were wondering, this is that drum that I cut up the other day. So now that, and I haven't got the backing plate on there yet, we'll go. straight onto there, backing plate, and from there, I should have grabbed this first, <coughs> it's a little bit difficult to do one hand, so bear with me a sec. Got you upside down too. Um, so now the disc will sit on. So there is how that goes on. So the next thing to do is to have them off, mount the back plate, the backing plate up here somewhere. Um, I've seen calipers up the top, I've seen calipers here. Um, so I don't know which way and I think I'm going to have to go from the brake line over here to that as well and then I'll work out the handbrake cables as well but uh, backing plate and where to mount it etc I think will be the next step. Just to show a comparison between the two hubs, this one here, you can see how thick that is, that's the, um, the drum that I've cut. So. It's a really good thickness on it, and the uh, applause disc brake hub is a lot thinner. So, you know, people worried about how strong it's going to be, or it might be different materials. But I really think that that will hold up just as well as what that will. Um, I did think about using these studs in this. But I'm putting them pretty much close together. They're about the same length, so I'll stay with the stock ones. And if I have to change to longer ones, I will do. But yeah, so this difference will push your wheel out a little bit further. So a good maybe five mil. So I might need guard rolling a little further. Who knows? We'll see when we get to it.